Good morning, parrots. I hope you've had a great day yesterday and I hope you enjoyed some of the activities. I wonder if any of you have made a bottle with the sparkly things in it yet, or if you've done any of them, I'd be interested to know. Here we are again in front of all these things. We're going to talk about them tomorrow. I'm not going to go into that today, but I wonder if you can guess what the letter is today. Uh, well, for tomorrow, not today. I wonder if you can guess what the letter is going to be. T. OK, so I want to talk a little bit about ancient Egypt, which is our topic for my world. The ancient Egyptians lived a long time ago. Now, actually, around 5000 years ago, which is longer than any of us can imagine. I mean, it's a lot longer than last week and it's it's a long time, long, long time ago. And it was a very different world then. They didn't have the Internet, didn't have TV, airplanes, rockets, cars any of those things we had none of all the things that we take for granted in our life now um the ancient egyptians traveled around by either walking or riding donkeys or riding in carts pulled by donkeys um another way that they used to travel was by boat the ancient egyptians were amazing boat builders so here's a picture of some of the boats kind of boats that they would build and one of our activities, maybe next week, will be trying to build one of these if you wanted to. I'm going to show you how to do it really easily with some card. So the, the ancient Egyptians would travel up and down the Nile and they would trade. That means they would buy and sell things with the people along the river, because that's where most of the people lived. And they might go to one place and have crops and then another place would have maybe bread that they make. Another place would make papyrus, which is what the Egyptians used for paper and they had no other way but using the River Nile or just walking as I say so really the river was like our motorway the way and they used that the way that we use our motorways now they were excellent boat builders and um, some of their techniques are still used today probably something that you don't know but the ancient Egyptians were the first people to look after teeth have you ever had a picnic on the beach or eaten anything on the beach? The sand, it just gets everywhere, doesn't it? And it's in your mouth and you have sandwiches. Maybe that's why they're called sandwiches. So you have sand and it just grates on your teeth. So the ancient Egyptians, it was very sandy where they lived and sand used to get everywhere and they used to end up eating a lot of sand, which wasn't very good for their teeth. So they needed lots of help with that. I don't know if you're going to see this very carefully. I've tried to find some pictures. Now, these were pictures that were in an ancient tomb in Egypt and I circled round where you might look if you look carefully there is a man looking at the teeth of somebody else and they had lots of medical equipment that we wouldn't have expected them to have all that time ago so yep they were one of the first dentists now another thing that the ancient Egyptians liked to do they, they mostly wore white clothes because it's very hot and white clothes would reflect the heat rather than getting hot. But it's on special occasions, they did like to dress up. So they'd like to wear vivid colours, wonderful colours. And obviously the more wealthy people had the more fancy clothes and the poorer people would wear ordinary white, white linen clothes. So here are some people who, this is some of them dressing up and they would have enhanced, that means made it look more, more festive. They would have put bright colours, so they liked golds and blues, deep rich colours. They wore a lot of gold jewellery around their necks. So that's the gentleman, that's the woman there, and that's the man there. So, and, and you might, if you look at the hair, you can see something else. We'll talk about that in a minute. So this is another Egyptian lady dressed up. You can see how rich the colours are. And again here is an Egyptian, a very important Egyptian man there. We know that because he's holding a special symbol and we'll go into the symbols in another time. Now, yes, sometimes on their heads they would wear wigs. This is the back of a very, very fancy wig that an Egyptian woman might have worn. So the Egyptians would obviously weave their own clothes and it's mostly linen which is a very heavy kind of cotton material. 
Now, something else that the Egyptians did was they worked out a way of telling the time. Obviously, it's sunny in Egypt, and they noticed that their shadows would change where they fell at different times of the day. So if you look here, you can see there's a man and a boy. And they put a pole in the ground. And pole is casting a shadow. And as the day moves around, the shadow will move around as well. So they learned to work out how to tell what time of the day it was and where the shadow is. And we still use these things sometimes now. These kind of things are called sundials. And as you again, you can see the sun is hitting that post in the middle and it's hitting around the numbers. And here we've got numbers around the side. And the ancient Egyptians began to do that and put numbers around the side of their sundials. So there's a lot that we have to thank the ancient Egyptians for. Anyway, that's enough for today. We'll do some fun crafts next week and I'll show you how they work. So I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you again tomorrow morning and we'll go into more detail about what's behind me.